Hi guys, it's Wingit, and I'm back with another cold black heart. I want to show you how let's sit, focus. There we go. How I made this um, faux metal black heart, and it's super super easy. There we go. It's a method used by both uh, Lindsay Rowick, the frugal crafter, and Hector Nuga in order to make this sort of metal look. Let me zoom out just a little bit. I'm using a, a chip chipboard heart okay, that I cut a whole bunch of out using a Tim Holtz die that had just all these different hearts. Um, I didn't want to, I'm not a heart person, so I didn't want to go out and buy a bunch of um, hearts. So, yeah, I'm just making them out of really thick chipboard. I think it's a heavy, heavyweight or heavy duty chipboard. Um, later, I've got it, I'm working on it right now, but I've got these forms that I made to make pendants with, and I'll have a video on how I made these forms. So I'm working on that right now. But for this one, just any type of form, and I've already painted it black. It's a little splotchy right there because something got in the paint and I just put a, uh, took a marker, Sharpie, and went over it. That's not going to matter at all. So the first thing is take a hot glue gun that's hot and you want to start running off, you want to start off of the heart and run onto the heart at a height. I gotta get my glue going here so that it's forming. It starts off. You don't want really globs on there, but I'm trying to mimic the look of veins on the heart, which was why I'm starting off so the glob goes up and I'm holding in the glob that deep do. I'm holding the glue gun from a height so it's a little bit stringier. And I think maybe I want, okay, come on. Now, I don't think this is, this is not hot enough now. So I'm good with that. <laughs> I won't go for any more. And it's fairly well cooled enough, almost, except for that bit that I just put my finger in. There we go. And I've got all these little strings on it now that I'm going to cut off, and including where I stuck my finger in. And it just wasn't quite dry right there. Cool, I should say. There we go. Alright, don't want these little strings hanging off. But you have to start it off of the shape in order to get that veiny look. And I've cut into my heart. Fine. I'll show you how we fix that in a minute. I have now trimmed my heart. And I don't, yeah, that doesn't belong there. So let's try not to cut too much on this heart. I sure didn't have these problems when I did the first one. Goes to show you. Okay, and that's pretty good. I think I've got a little bit right there. Is that fairly good for all the... I think that needs trimming right there. Okay, all right. Get the hot glue gun out of the way before I do something brilliant with it, like burn my fingers off. Burn my hands off, as Lindsay would say. Okay. Now, because I did attack the edges a little bit, I'm taking out my trusty Sharpie, and I'm just going to go over anywhere that is not black make it black. Okay. 
the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go over this with a very light coat of gloss decoupage, you use gloss mod podge, whatever. Basically you want to seal the pendant because it is cardboard so you want to put a little coat on it and I'm going to be very frugal and my brush is wet because I just washed it out so I will dab at this that piece is a little loose there we go I just popped it off it's actually gonna work out better anyway and I'll show you why in a minute Okay, so that's on the front side. You do that on all sides. This front side is still drying a little bit. I'm going to flip it over and coat the back side. And be fairly generous because it's going to dry clear if you're using like Mod Podge or Decoupage or something like that. Gel Medium would be great. I'm using this because it's going bad on me, so I need to use it up. I don't use gloss that much. Yikes, here we go. Heat that up. I'm sorry for the noise. Ow, ow. Okay, they got hot. fingers. Okay. Now, it's not quite dry, but I'm going to show you the next step anyway, and please use whatever you have. I am going to use these really cheap metallic rub-ons. They come like this, and I've got quite a few of them because they really were cheap. And, but use rub and buff if you've got it. That would be great. That's really overkill. If you have craft acrylic paint in silver or in pewter, that's what you're after. Just dip your finger in it and do exactly what I'm doing. Use what you've got on this. That's the whole point of this particular pendant is not to go out and break the bank on it, but just use what you have around. Now, I'm actually going to layer up on mine because I have a charcoal and then I have a slightly brighter one right here so there's the charcoal there's a slightly brighter one and then there's the the bright silver so the first one and I need to make sure that I didn't there we go it's good to go the first one I'm not going to be careful really at all and I'm even putting it a little bit over the actual heart so it has just a little bit of gleam. Now it's hard to tell what it's going to look like because there's still some of the white that hasn't fully dried but again it's pretty much how I did this one. All right just um, yeah it's exactly how I did this one and this is how it turned out so I didn't wait for it to dry either so I'm just putting on that dark one and I'm letting it go ahead and touch some of the background. And once I've done a little bit with it, I go to the next one. And really, please, if all you've got is one color of silver, it will still look great. This one I'm going to be a little more careful. Not a whole lot. Okay, so I put a few more highlights on it. You really can't tell. That's why I say if all you've got is silver, go for it because it's a silver that we put on next. That is what really shows. The other just helps with some of the background a little bit. 
Okay, so I've got, and I got too much on. I'm going to be fairly careful with this. And as you can see, it's the silver that does it. So the others are just a little bit of icing on the cake. So that's what we have. And you can see that's what I did with this one. Okay. The only thing that is different on this one is that now I am ready to put a, I'm not going to, I found out, I'm not going to go over this with decoupage because basically you take off what you put on unless you're using acrylic paint and then you can go over the top of it with decoupage to seal it. If you're using wax of any type, the rub on, then once it dries, that will seal as well. So it's sealed either way you go with it. I'm going to punch a hole in it and put a, I keep wanting to say brad, it's not, it's an eyelet. And I'm using, I didn't have black, I couldn't believe it. I mean, what kind of moron doesn't have black? I have this very dark brownish color, but on this one I think I used a, a silver one, and then I just put some of that black looking rub on it. For this one I'll just use that brown one, I want to see how that looks. And I need the larger hole. I left a little spot on my heart. Or I tried to, yeah where I could put the, I don't want to say brad, eyelet through, which is what I'm doing now. Okay, so that's what I have. And you can tell that's not the right color. So I am going to color it. And let me put it in my crocodile. Cinch it. There we go. That gives it a little bit of a finishing touch. And Again, I'm going to disguise the fact that I don't have the right color. This is a black color rub. And I'm just going to put it around it. And there you go. That's all there is to it. I think I want a little more of that bright silver. Put some of the black off of my hand. Yeah, let's put a little of that silver back on. I think I want more right in here. Okay, there. And I'm going to let that dry. Maybe buff it just a bit, I don't know. But there it is. That gives you a cold black heart. This one looks shinier. I must have gotten more of the metallic on the background on that. So if you've got some metallic paint, go for it. That's all it takes, guys. Thank you. Bye.